All right, we are back in session and we're ready for our next case. And this is Mr. Frank, pronounce your last name. Free J. Free J. What's your Free DSC number, Free J? It's Free J and it's 428-3563. Uh, yes, okay, Mr. Free J. My name is Cheryl Renato. This is Mr. Roche and Mr. Freeman. Let me read some identifying information. Uh, and then we'll get started on the parole interview. You're classified as a second felony offender. You're currently serving a 25-year sentence for uh, possession of meth and indecent behavior with a juvenile. You were sentenced in October of 2011 in Kelsey Parish. You have a parole eligibility date, which is December, was December 16, 2022. You do not earn good time. You have a full term date, June 17. 2035. Does all that sound correct? Yes, ma'am. And before we start the interview, I want to acknowledge that your mother, Ms. Bridget Parkins, has joined us and she's on Zoom uh, observing. So we'll start the interview. Your case has been assigned to Mr. Roche. Would you answer his question? Yes, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Mr. Roche. Good morning, Mr. Roche. How are you doing? I'm very good, sir. Yeah, sit back and we're going to have a conversation, okay? Yes, sir. Please appreciate it. You're currently 46 years old? Yes, sir. And you've been convicted of two felonies, and you, uh, did you have a, a trial or did you plead to this Okay. I took a, an Alfred plea. Okay. And you took an Alfred plea and you agreed to serve 25 years. Am I correct? Yes, sir. <clears throat> and you've been incarcerated approximately 12 and a half years so far. Is that correct? Um, this July I should make about 13 years. 12 and a half years so far, right? Sir? You've served 12 and a half years so far? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's talk about, uh, what's your current job assignment? I work in prison enterprise as the tool room clerk, tool room orderly. Okay, tell us exactly what you do for prison enterprise. Um, well, I started off as a carpenter, um, and then uh, I ended up doing the Ended up in the tool room, passing out the tools, taking inventory of the tools. Um, at the end of the day, I count all the tools and put the toolboxes up once the uh, other inmates are done with them. So, do you have any other vocational skills besides carpentry? Yes, sir. I, um, I took the NCCER core, and I, have, um, uh, I took the rigging. Um, cabinet making, um, crew leadership, and a couple others that I've uh, taken. Since we're talking about programs, let me go over your program. You've completed life charges, living in balance, 12 step programs, you've completed your sex offender treatment. In 2013, 100 hours pre release. You got your GED in 1995. Yes, sir. You have several NISA certificates, and you have multiple in service award certificates from prison enterprise. Yes. Did you take any victim awareness? Uh, no, sir. I, I, I think they just started that class up here. Well, I think you need to take some victim awareness. Have you taken any uh, anger management? No, sir. Have you taken thinking for a change? Yes, sir. I'm in it right now. I have um, maybe one week left. Okay. And I'll be complete. Do you have any children? Yes, sir. I have three, three sons. 
Okay, so you, have you taken any parenting classes? No, sir. Uh, but I also see that you've taken multiple faith-based programs. Yes, sir, I've completed that program and I've earned uh, my associate's degree in theology from uh, Cornerstone. Right. I think you need to get with uh, Warren Thomas, Warren Simon, and see about taking some victim awareness and some um, parenting class. I yes, think sir. that would very well. Uh, are you a trustee? No, sir. Okay. And uh, we have letters of support from your uh, supervisors and business enterprises. Let's talk about your drug and alcohol issue. Thank you. Legal drug. Um, well, at 13 years old, I was started smoking marijuana and drinking alcohol. Um, till 19, I uh, I started doing hard drugs, um, ecstasy, coke, cocaine, um, acid, and then later on, I got into methamphetamine, and that's. Basically, in, in a nutshell, that's it, you know. Okay, now, I've seen you taking 12 steps, you've taken living and balance. Have you ever had inpatient treatment uh, before incarceration, or have you had any treatment while you were incarcerated? No, sir. Tell me about your transition plan. Where do you My plan wife. to live and where do you plan to work? Oh, okay. Um, I plan on going to Chanel at Greg at Greg's. Um, it's it's like a um transitional house. It's in Chanel in Lake Charles. And um I plan on working at Stratograph out of Lafayette. It's a uh, on land drilling company as a mud logger. Have you secured that job already? Uh, no, sir. I know they're hiring, though, and they hire ex-cons. Now, Mr. PJ, I want to enter this into the record, and I want to let you know that you have overwhelming express opposition from multiple sources. Yes, the second judge has stated he strongly opposed based on a plea agreement that you made with the state of Louisiana and the victim and the victim's family. Yes, he stated he is adamantly opposed because of the plea deal. The DA's office has written a very strong letter opposed to your early relief. All the law enforcement agencies are strongly opposed to your early relief. The victim is adamantly opposed to your early release, and the victim's mother is vehemently opposed. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, Warren Thomas, Warren Simon, would you like to make any remarks, comments, or observations at this time? Oh, sir, I don't have any comments. No, sir, I don't, I don't either. Thank you. Madam Chairman, uh, this could be... May I say something, sir? No, sir. Okay. okay. Well, well, actually, uh, I, uh, I think this, before we vote, this is your opportunity to make a brief statement, Mr. Frank. Yes, ma'am. I I just wanted to say that I, I was lost in my addiction. And I know I was wrong. I take full responsibility for my actions, Bridget. And I am truly sorry. I mean, you knew how I was. 
And I just made a mistake. So right. please you forgive me. Direct your comments to the board. Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Right. Thank you, sir. That is entered into the record. I think we are prepared to vote. Mr. Rocha will be voting first. All right. Appreciate. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 I'm trying to talk. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Frigier, based upon the plea deal that you made with the state of Louisiana, and the victim and the victim's family, I think you've served insufficient time on your sentence. Overwhelming express opposition from the judge, the DA's office, law enforcement, the victim and the victim's family. I think you need some additional substance abuse education and our treatment. I need to, you need to take victim awareness based upon uh, your early use of drugs and alcohol. I think this is a necessity before you release. Based upon all the above reasons, I'm denying your request. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for y'all's time. Well, I concur with Mr. Roger. And I do agree the need for we got some more work to do. We want to be sure that you it's not about just getting out of jail. We want you to stay out of jail. We want you to be successful. So you do have some more work to do, Mr. Cruje. So my vote today is the same. You will have the opportunity to enroll in the programs that have been suggested, and you'll have the opportunity to reapply for another year. Yes, ma'am. I encourage you to do that. You need to get yes, those programs. Yes, ma'am. Good luck to you. Good Thank y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.